I don't know, but my channel is not about riding slow, neither about fuel consumption. Oh, have a look. Yeah, geez. Oh, okay. Like, you know? Yes, I, I really do believe this is, and my shout out to the Beanie Boy Moto. You know, I don't have any trouble with lockups, but very rarely, and I'm riding two wheels and one wheel up. But you can be a super EQ rider having EQ mode here, EQ mode there and the bike will be super lazy. Uh, do I like it? No, I absolutely hate that fact. Hi guys, this is Martin aka Martin the vlogger and today's video, uh, it's a final video, it's the third video about the pedal commander or throttle commander, call it as you like, uh, that you can get on slingmods.com. First video is, was about impression and most of the time I just told you like how to install it and when I should tell you more I was just screaming <laughs> <That is unbelievable. laughs> because it was so joyful <laughs> that I could not do anything else second video it was mostly about really a pure riding uh, where I compared the sport plus mode uh, on a twisty road uh, with the pedal commander off so that was about it and ever since that uh, you have seen me so many questions on a Facebook and Instagram account my account is Martin the vlogger is it waterproof what it really does what are the modes how it affects uh, when you have EQ flash will it behave the same uh, when you do not have EQ flash what about the fuel consumption and, and many more and we will go through all of these at the end of the video I'll tell you one thing what what David has kind of comment it's not really a question it's more about like you know me being hooked or should be hooked with the companies like this because you call me an influencer you know I do honest videos and you I have to say you really like the the pedal commander so many of you are buying it and, and David has one comment it was very good comment uh, smart comment but I'll, I'll put my point of view over it and why I do these videos and how I do them and how I would like to continue doing them okay so in today's video a lot of questions a lot of my answers so please take it as a my point of view my experience I'm not technician I'm just freak who rides the beast and we'll be riding a little where I explain you very quickly what are the modes what is the difference between them and how I use them fair enough Guys, if you are not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button and have the notifications on because every time I make a video, you are notified. And this, all of this, it's about our community. It's about us. You can ask me any question. And also, I would be more than grateful in case you will talk and discuss and bring some opinions, maybe with your experience with the pedal commander. All right? So enough of this. Let's get started. So because I will be talking quite a lot today, at least I will try to change the angles uh, over the bike while I talk. So you don't have to only focus on my ugly face. So uh, first question, Frank and Hammett, uh, is it waterproof? Is the pedal commander waterproof or water resistant? Nope. Is there a solution coming? Yes. Uh, Sling mod guys told me like they're working on a silicon casing. I don't want to really get to it like why it is not waterproof or water resistant but it is not that's simple fact uh, do I like it no I absolutely hate that fact because even though I said in a first video the beast is everything about the style and performance and I don't want to keep this kind of not really pretty unit right over here actually I like the unit I like the fact that I can choose different modes and change the sensitivity uh, and now because it's not waterproof or water resistant and I don't know why I have to hide it and I will hide it underneath of this one on the other side and what I can do it has a Bluetooth connection and every time you turn on the key the Bluetooth is activated so it's very easy actually to connect to the pedal commander via their app the app is very easy very intuitive easy to use However, I need to use the Bluetooth and that's what I don't like is because I need to connect it when I would like to, you know, change the modes, turn it on or turn it off. And that's what I don't like. Can you turn it on and off via the app itself when you start the bike? Yes, you can. You don't have to manually turn this on in order that Bluetooth will start working. That's a good thing. Otherwise, I don't like it and I'm really waiting for the new silicone casing for it because I will be definitely having the 
pedal commander right over here. Now, the second question is a very complicated question from the point of like how would how I will answer it, but I will try to do my best, even though it doesn't have to be really technically correct. So brown sugar and Germanicus has a question like how does it work really? And then Frank has a question about, and many of you, and not only Frank, uh, have been asking like how it affects EcoFlash. What is the difference between this pedal commander upgrade and an EcoFlash? So, so what the pedal commander really does, um, it increases basically the sensitivity of your pedal, of your throttle. Okay. Oh, have a look. Yeah, geez. Oh, okay. Like, you know. So almost like you have this old-fashioned car when there was only a string from your pedal directly going to the engine where you said like give me this much fuel and just give it to me right now. So this is not possible these days with, with the spiders or whatever because we don't have just a string, okay? There are, there are cables, it's not like manual, it's, it's electronical kind of impulse. And Pedal Commander kind of obey this thing and basically what it says, and I think this is the best explanation, is like give me almost like 100% of possible power in this RPM that right now, okay? There are different modes, we will get to them, but basically this is what like, it shrinks the time and increase the sensitivity in the, in, the, in the throttle or in the pedal. Now, what is really the difference between EcoFlash and Pedal Commander? Can they work together? Is it, is it any difference? Uh, how this is how the pedal commander can be good when you do not have really any increase of hope horsepower or or you know torque now when i was thinking like how i would like to explain it and again it's not technically correct but eco flash it's a map right it tells um basically to the bike like if we are in a 2000 rpm if we are in a three or four thousand rpm put this much fuel and take this much air from the airbox and this way you basically chip the bike and the bike has better performance and runs better with a higher horsepower probably and higher torque and also you don't have to talk about it but it, they, they can unlock your the rpms so the rpms can you can go to the red lines quite easy now with the throttle commander what throttle commander does it doesn't increase the amount of fuel that goes basically kind of to the bike what it says is like when you do not have a pedal commander or throttle commander on or if you do not have this module when you hit the pedal there are in the microseconds there are there is kind of a delay that's the first thing what pedal commander removes you in case you're in a sport plus you tiny inch of movement and you have let's say 100% of available power of the bike okay when we go further in terms of the, the line, 1000, 2000, 3000 RPM, basically what Pedal Commander, from my experience, what, how I feel it, what it does is like, give me the 100% every time. So if you have EQ tuned and whatever is the maximum output in 3000 RPM, just give me that right away. If you do not have it, the bike kind of, you know, because it's programmed that way, the throttle signals to the bike like, let's start with 20% of potential power, then 40%, then 60, then let's hit 100. But with Pedal Commander, they obey it somehow, and instantly, instantly, you are basically saying, based on the mode that you have selected, City Sport, or Sport Plus, or just bloody EQ mode, how fast I would like to have that 100% of available programmed power that it's in the EQ, all right? Is it understandable? I could not really explain it better. So next question is how it really works and can the two things, oh, let's just change the seats. To the next question and Frank has the question about like how it is really with the with the EcoFlash stage one or very popular stage two um, and uh, this pedal commander so if you do not have it will you have same joy as I do because I have stage one on the beast kind of I don't know it was really 
an update di done really back in the day. Um, yes, I, I really do believe this is, and my shout out to the Beanie Boy Moto. Uh, I told you, man, uh, I will mention you in the video. Uh, this upgrade, it's so good that I would probably do it before the EQ flash because it gives you so much. First of all, and that's was the great point of the Beanie Boy, like with EQ flash, it's permanent. It's there. Either you have it or you don't. And with the stage two, you need to have some kind of holes in the air box. Okay. Now with this one, you can turn it on and off at any more any time and you can have super aggressive or insane mode of sport plus or you can have a super okay mode of city or super chilled mode that i never used of of echo okay now so this is a great thing and will you have the same joy as i do well probably not i don't think there is a really huge difference between uh, EQ flash stage one and not having it mostly it's about the revs and where you can go in the red lines But anyway, you will have the answer is very simple with the pedal commander You will have a lot of joy a lot a ton. So no, you don't need to have a stage one or stage two EQ flash you will have enough joy without it. Trust me. It's gonna be like that now I will put together two questions because I'm kind of getting tired of, you know, changing the positions. So Stefan has a question. What about the fuel consumption? And my answer is like, what about that I don't care much? I mean, obviously, will it will be higher? Uh, definitely, yes. In case you are in a sport plus, sport or city mode, because there are more aggressive modes than your, and more like the throttle is more responsive. So basically in case you get like long story short, if you will get somewhere faster, that means the bike needs to probably eat more, kind of, like, is it an answer? And of course, in case you will be in an EQ and will be riding shortly, I'll show you how lazy the bike is in EQ mode. So will the consumption will be smaller in an EQ? Yeah, definitely. So in case you will go somewhere and you will come later, Probably the bike will eat less fuel probably maybe possibly I don't know but my channel is not about riding slow neither about fuel consumption Toto Inc has a question uh, Does it make any damage to the motor? Um, I think it's a good question and only I would say only time will 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 tell uh, However, this is my point of view uh, I have asked sling mods if they have any experience with the slingshots because slingshots were the first ones to receive this super cool upgrade and they say like no we do not have any any experience with this plus you are not changing the map you are changing the sensitivity but still for me it means like you are creating more pressure on the motor however this is a spider 1313 rotax engine the engine it's so underperformed or set up to perform really much less to whatever the engine is possible to do i don't think you will really get any super damage to it uh, you can unplug it at any time so there is no really question about the warranty um, and uh, you know you will not always you will not always ride in a sport plus or sport and we are getting really there so i will hit the bike and show you the modes my preferable riding mode it's city plus two or plus three so i mean there are it's a little bit more sensitive uh, you have like a little bit more joy i don't think you are really damaging the motor at all now another question and yeah yeah we will change the position again and here by the way look at the akrapovich 1200 dollars there and it looks absolutely ugly after four or five years of using so shortly there is a super big video about a lot of exhausts that I'm expecting in the close future top skin products and MTV manufacturing uh, frame protector great thing check MTV online shop just saying guys just saying so now the Jason is having question like what is coming to the nanny as a sudden lockups due to wheels lifting um are rather scary you know now the thing is um 
Yeah, I mean, uh, this question was when I did the comparison between pedal commander on and off on a twisty road, twisty mountain road. And Joseph Golden, the guy that is sometimes more crazy than I am, he's a really cool dude. And, you know, um, he told me, like, Martin, you should talk more about front shocks and, and the rear shock being upgraded. So, guys, of course, if you have more power than before with the pedal commander or, or more speed around the corner uh, and your wheels will slide, the nanny will receive the same information as without the pedal commander, you know, and it will shut the power down. However, really, before doing any kind of really performance upgrade, the front shocks, especially when you are a whale size like me, they are not really good. The rear shock, it's even worse. So before you do, have the sway bar, you know, uh, on the bike and change the shocks. And then it's everything about you riding, you practicing. You know, I don't have any trouble with lockups, but very rarely. And I'm riding two wheels and one wheel up. Uh, many times and I don't have a smart sport mode on the beast because it is a 2015 uh, Spider F3S. Now before we'll really hit the road uh, I wanted to comment on one comment. It's not really a question but I wanted to you know explain you the whole concept and whole vision of Martin the vlogger YouTube channel and online shop and everything. Um, so David Swain said like I should be hooked up by these companies because I'm um, you know making a sales for them <laughs> and David is one of the guys that is following my reviews and from time to time buying something now me being hooked up by companies and yeah I'm wearing a sling mod t-shirt uh, I'm doing a review about their product however I'm a sales guy I used to work or I'm still working for almost like 15 years in sales and every day I return home uh, I look into a mirror, I'm not doing it every day, but uh, I can look into a mirror and say like I was honest again. And this is what the Sling Mods guys knows. First of all, I'm buying the product many times. I, I would be lying if I say I haven't received anything for free. That's not true. In many cases, I'm buying the things. I'm asking them like, guys, this is very really interesting thing. This was no brainer for me, okay? This is a performance upgrade. I need to have it. I was begging them to ship it to the Europe because there are super lot of orders. You know, I'm, I'm always honest in my reviews and that's how you get the viewers, that's how you get the subscribers. And once you will be not honest, you can lose everything. And I'm building this for five years, you know, starting with the crappy videos, you know. So uh, what I'm trying to say is I will never be hooked by companies. I can be sponsored. I can be, you know, receive something for a discounted price, but my vision is to build a community, you know, be stronger, get some money from different sources, but always when I'm doing reviews, I'm doing it like this is good, however, this is bad, okay, or this should be changed. And it's never ever gonna be different way with the mods in the vlogger. I had to say it, so love sling mods working with them however if something's gonna be wrong my review is gonna be bad but it's not the case of the pedal commander right all right guys so let's hit the road and let's talk about the modes and how it works and what it does and what is the kind of impression uh what is a great thing is if you have a look i just put the key in and it do remembers uh basically what was the last setup However, when I will go to Sport, Sport Plus, Off, or again, City, it ain't going to be there. So every time you need to, you know, when you go to the city and when you go around, you need to again choose your best preferable way. In case you would like to go to the EQ, you just need to hold it for quite a longer time and it will go and jump to the EQ. Well, but probably nobody likes this mode, but we will talk about it later. Then when you would like to go again back, uh, you need to press the push button. Frankly speaking, I don't like it. Uh, 
you know like to change in this modes with this push button i think it can be done a little bit better like to have a buttons here so i can really choose instantly like which mode i prefer probably it will be more programming different unit that they will need to use but this way i'll need to go all the way around through the sport mode in case i would like to get to the city from the sport uh it may okay let's start the engine it may look like it's not a big deal but you know after some time it, it gets a little bit annoying okay next thing is can you change the modes while riding yes you, of course you can do it just my recommendation is let, let's let's go to the straight line straight road okay so when i have it like this and i change to the sport plus whoops you see so just be careful not not hit the pedal when you are changing the modes another basic thing is uh you have four modes as i said many times like eco city sport and sport plus and like those are the basic setups but plus you have here something like plus one to plus four and minus one to minus four the difference is in the basically in the color you can spot it very easy so this is like how you want your throttle react in each mode like the sensitivity okay now let's go to the EQ and for you to understand like how the bike reacts okay I will start gear I don't know like and I will hit the bike and it also like it almost doesn't want to go that's what EQ should be about question is like can you have the EQ on the pedal commander can you turn on the EQ well it's right over there and the answer is yes and how the bike will react like 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 have a look it almost like doesn't want to go so what else you have expected but you can be a super EQ rider having EQ mode here EQ mode there and the bike will be super lazy well i don't think we, there are more comments needed on this now city and this is quite interesting when i first you know got the got the pedal commander i thought like okay city and i was reading yeah guys i was reading a little bit the manual so i was reading the manual and they said like okay it's city because you should be using it in a city and for my understanding it was like okay it will be a little bit slower and then uh, without the city mode you know like uh, stock setup and uh you know you'll be using in a city so your throttle will be response will be like kind of smoother for joy in the city well i was wrong it's already faster than a stock one so the bike goes really where is the pedal right there and it's faster than if you are not having the pedal commander okay i'm riding this mode plus two usually plus three uh like these days not in the city only but also when i'm out from the city why because not because i wanted to be like super fast on the lights that's not the point but sometimes in a city that's what i like you need to you know go from side to side you know hit the car go around the car it, it's just great because the response is much better than without it and yeah i love the city mode that's my most favorite mode yeah guys i'm getting old martin the vlogger likes city mode ah sport mode sport mode i'm using like usually again like plus two sometimes minus two it really depends like where i am on a road like this oh yeah sorry i had to do that on a road like this i'll be probably really riding in a sport just to have fun you know the response it's very sharp and you can adjust it but i still believe like what you will be mostly playing is a city mode sport mode and you will have your most preferable setup that is the reason why i'm always saying or saying it several times in this video like the bike should remember your setup that's how it should be done like when i'm using sport mode plus two that's what bike should remember when i go around again it should be there like automatically preset up maybe the safety feature not maybe probably almost like definitely but it's the sport plus well it's oh geez uh, you saw me riding like you really need to get used to it i mean like you really need to and usually what i'm doing is i'm a minus three minus two 
this is what I think did last time on the twisty and curvy road it's the the have a look I mean like let's just go to higher RPM let's do this crazy thing like plus four have a look yeah geez oh, okay like you know turn this off and uh, you know be in the second gear and have a look okay this is what it does but when I have it on you know like you know you see the difference oh and by the way all of the time I had the EQ on so all of the modes are a little bit affected by that but it's not important I mean like you understand now the bike goes after the pedal even faster so now uh, in case you like the video hit the like button or hit the dislike if you like it's up to you uh, subscribe to my channel if you're not a subscriber yet and have the notifications on and guys most importantly most importantly remember go to the MTV online shop and check whatever I have there and always have fun <laughs>